Hey there football fans, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some unfortunate news for all you Australian football supporters. Australia's star striker, Sam Kerr, will be missing the team's first two matches of the Women's World Cup due to a calf injury. Ouch, that's a massive blow for the Aussies, Football Australia announced Kerr's injury just moments after submitting their official team sheet for the opening game against the Republic of Ireland. Kerr suffered the injury during the team's final training session. So, she won't be able to play in the Ireland game or their second Group B match against Nigeria on July 27. But don't worry, Kerr's availability for the team's final Group game against Canada on July 31 will be assessed by the Matilda's medical team. Fingers crossed she'll be back on the pitch by then. Kerr herself took to Instagram to share the news with her fans. She wrote, Unfortunately, I sustained a calf injury yesterday in training. I wanted to share this with everyone so there is no distraction from us doing what we came here to achieve. Of course, I would have loved to have been out there tonight, but I can't wait to be a part of this amazing journey which starts now. What a positive attitude! Now, this injury is a major setback for Australia, who are considered strong contenders to win the tournament. But they're not giving up just yet. Manchester City's Mary Fowler has been drafted into the starting lineup in place of Kerr. She's the only change to the starting 11 that defeated France in their final warm-up fixture last week. But wait, there's more bad news for the Matildas. Forward Kaya Simon and midfielder Tamika Yallop are also out due to injuries. Coach Tony Gustafsson must be scratching his head trying to figure out the best lineup without these key players. On the other side, Ireland has some good news. Midfielder Denise O'Sullivan has recovered from a shin injury she sustained in a heated warm-up match against Colombia. So, she'll be available for the game against Australia. Well, that's all for now, folks. Let's hope Sam Kerr recovers quickly and gets back on the field to help lead Australia to victory. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the Women's World Cup. Until next time, keep kicking it.